Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Spectrum. Welcome to another new video. Today in this video, one of my friend Somrat As is going to share his interview experience of Aizar Kolkata. Aizar Kolkata is one of the oldest Aizar in India. It is in Bengal and it established in 2006. It offers two courses. One is integrated PhD course uh, which is for six years and another is PhD course which is for five years. Today in this video I will discuss only about integrated PhD course. So let's talk about eligibility criteria. To eligible for interview your jam rank should be 1 to 1000 and you have to qualify just exam shortlisted candidate will be called for an interview please like and share our videos and subscribe our channels that will motivate us to make such type of videos let's start okay so First of all, our examiners are supposed to ask what they are supposed to ask actually. So they uh, might say two things. First of all, they they uh, they would say, please introduce yourself. That is that is uh, uh, that is you may say I am pursuing my B.Sc whatever in subject you may be in physics from some college okay then you uh, further additionally you may say that uh, you may qualify a jam driver such kind of things that you actually qualified you may say that uh, that would Im impress yourself to examiners okay so thereafter uh, they actually said they actually asked uh, please say your preferable topics if any are there so uh, then you may say your specific topics that you are comfortable with that is uh, there might be all optics or relativity whatever you are interested in classical mechanics whatever quantum mechanics whatever you are interested in you you may see and um, using your specific topic of interest they would ask you question so my uh, either in my either uh, Kolkata interview they uh, initially asked me that uh, are you comfortable with crop plotting so i said yes so they said so let's plot y equal to x e to the power minus x so okay i am fine so um, with this plotting so first of all i have plot y equal to x that is we know the, the line going through the origin at state line having slope one and thereafter I have plot y equal to e to the power minus 6 and you you know it it's like this kind of curve actually so and thereafter using to this curve idea I have plotted y equal to x e to the power minus x so see at x equal to 0 what the value of y so if you put uh, x equal to 0 it becomes 0 and if we uh, observe uh, carefully that if we increase x value for some initial value of x is x value it keep on increasing but thereafter for higher value of x it keep on decreasing due to e to the power minus x term so for positive x it's like this thing this guy type of curve and uh, and for negative x you see that for y equal to x it's keep on increasing with negative x and it's negative 
and for y equal to e to the power minus x, it keep on increasing and it is positive x. And so, as a whole, y equal to x e to the power minus x, it keep on increasing with x and it goes to negative direction. So, it's like this thing. So, I have plotted. Here, um, you have to remember, you have to, um, you have to think that, so, for any graph plotting, you have to check for x equal to, uh, wh what, uh, what would be the value of some function for x equal to infinity, x equal to minus infinity, and something relevant um, around the origin like things. That you may, using this three idea, it would be um, easier for you to plot any curve. And using two, and here, interesting thing that I have plotted y equal to x to the power minus x using two simple idea. And I think it impressed the examiner. Okay, and so um, Sarah said yes, that's okay. And so, um, they said let's plot, and they let's find its maximum point. And it's easy. I have just uh, for we know actually for maximum minimum value, we should take dy dx equal to zero. First derivative of this function with respect to x should be zero, and put it over here and. After little calculation, I left with x equal to 1. So, now, and for checking whether it is maximum or minimum, what we do? We just do double derivative of this function with respect to x. And if it should be negative at x equal to 0 for, uh, for y is maximum at x equal to x. I have said this thing and it's simple said, uh, said that it's okay. Uh, we may move on to next question. Okay. So, uh, there are the, our next question was then. So, um, write down the black body or Planck radiation formula and find it expression for small and large frequency value. So, uh, at that time, I can't, I could not remember the what the expression. So, sir said that don't have, to, don't uh, worry. I, I have, I, I am going to provide you the formula and you, you try to estimate this value for new equal to zero tends to zero, new tends to infinity, and. And sir, provide us this kind of expression that is actual, not actual expression, but actual from uh, related to new that we are interested in. Okay, so for the small value of new, what we do? Uh, so for new tends to zero, this term that is exponential h new by kt, it's equal to 1 plus h nu by kt and neglecting higher order term as nu tends to 0 and put it over there so I put here I put here 1 plus h nu by kvt minus 1 it becomes h nu by kt and put kt upward numerator we left with kt nu square that's simple and for nu tends to infinity we know uh, for new tends to infinity, it will exponential it to our minus h nu by kt tends to zero. So anyhow, we have to uh, we have to find this kind of term and pu put it there zero. So what I have done, uh, I have t in denominator I have taken to the power h nu by kt kt t, kt common outside and uh, within bracket, we left with 1 minus exponential minus h nu by kt. And here I put uh, this term, and I put this term equal to 0, and uh, so overall, this term overall becomes 1. So it becomes, and 
taking uh, new uh, denominator term exponential term to the numerator we get this kind of expression and we got final expression this set so said it's okay fine we then move to next question okay so it is also from quantum mechanics so remember there is uh, always sir asked are you comfortable with this quantum mechanics or whatever they said and thereafter they ask uh, you questions so as i have told that i am comfortable with this quantum mechanics that's why they ask this kind of question from quantum mechanics okay so next question uh, from mathematical physics that there is a suppose there is a matrix to uh, two by two matrix that is zero four one five and let's find its a to the power eighty three. What we do? How can I found uh, how uh, you uh, find its value? Sir asked me. So uh, after thinking a little bit two or three minute or uh, two or three minute, uh, I have tried in several approaches and finally. Sir, give me a hint that there is a similarity transformation like things. You may use this idea to find its value. So uh, then and then uh, my idea comes my mind and I have think that uh, I have written down that uh, we can diagonalize any matrix by similarity transformation we know. So uh we know the diagonalize how we diagonalize it so this way d equal to p inverse ap this way you can diagonalize and uh, any matrix and its diagonal matrix uh, so, uh, should contain its eigen value of any matrix and what is p p matrix is formed by the eigen vectors of a matrix okay and now if we um, taking p term p term that p matrix from left hand side then we can write in this fashion of any matrix a equal to p d p inverse d is a diagonal matrix okay so uh, what would be if we multiply this kind of a matrix then if we multiply this uh, and put it uh, successively then uh, I get this term at uh, together and um, uh, put it over here one identity matrix we left with p d square p inverse similarly if we do uh, a cube then also after uh, then also we would see that it it becomes this kind of thing that is d cube actually here the diagonal matrix becomes its cubic and you know here diagonal elements so we don't uh, do any thing just we have to do the um, eigen value whole to the power cube like things so we have to multiply eigen value um, by itself with a certain term starting times actually so uh, for a to the power n or here a to the power 18 what would be it is nothing but p equal to d8 d to the power 80 p inverse here how we, would, uh, we could find this uh, p value p matrix actually so for p matrix to find p matrix uh, we have to find eigen vectors and um, stack it um, they are successively and uh, they are doing this we can find p and diagonal matrix would be um, the successive eigen value put it over diagonally and here for d83 we uh, we have to do that lambda for lambda 1 to the power 83 that is 1 by 1 position and lambda 2 to the power 83 that is its uh, 2 by 2 position that's uh, such that well that's enough okay so we move to next question 
सो इन क्वांटम मेकानिक्स वाई डू पीपल टेक हेमिल्टोनियन एज एन एज ए हार्मिशियन ऑपर सो हियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नो हेमिल्टोनियन ऑपर गिव्स अस एनर्जी एक्चुअली व्हिच रिलेटेड टू अवर रियल फिजिकल ऑब्जर्वेबल ओके एज हियर इज रियल ऑब्जेक्ट्स रियल काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स एंड आल्सो we know that hermitian operator has its real eigen value that's why as energy is real things and physical observable are real and hermitian operator is only one which has its real eigen value that's why we uh, take hamiltonian as an hermitian operator okay that's uh, simple question and for next question and final question that's it see uh, set set write down any, any simple harmonic motion equation that if equation means set uh, want to say that write down the expression actually so i uh, wrote down then uh, that y equal to a sin kx and set set plot it i plot sim simply and um, and indicate its amplitude a plus a minus a okay so they are after set set that uh, okay so uh, to make this motion that is simple harmonic motion damped harmonic what modification modification would need then i have just do that y equal to a sin kx exponential minus bx okay that we know uh, here amplitude due to this exponential term amplitude keep on decreasing with increasing x that's an plot we we know actually this is nice thing and its amplitude is keep on increasing with uh, decreasing x value that is in negative y direction negative x direction and it simply said that's okay mm, it's fine uh, you may leave and okay and it's thank you and uh, finally i got selected for um, indicated phd at iser kolkata and and subscribe our channel and that's why we motivate ourselves to make more videos